Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and I am back today for Share a Daughter Sunday and looky who I'm sharing, my beautiful little angel, my beautiful Angelica. The baby I got from Amanda from Wawa's Angel's Nursery. I'll have it all up there for you guys. I want to just share her cards with you guys again. I would like to share that with you guys, all her information. So you can look her up. Hopefully you guys can see all that. Let's try to clear this. There we go. Now you can see everything so much better. Definitely check her out on Reborns.com. She's got beautiful babies. And look at this beautiful baby I got through her. Gorgeous, stunning little angel baby. And you see her in this beautiful, cute little outfit that I took photographs of her in when you would have seen the unboxing. I, I, I couldn't even take her out of it, you guys. I just couldn't. So she's got this beautiful little tutu on, and it came with the wings. Look at her wings. Oh, my gosh. I hope you guys are seeing that. And then the beautiful hat she sent with it and her angel lovey. It's an angel bear. She definitely is my angel, and I am loving this baby. I, I almost think she's my favorite. Seriously, I think she's my favorite baby. That's hard to say because I have a lot of them, but she is definitely in the top five. Top five. She is definitely a gorgeous angel baby. So, so pretty. I don't even want to take her out of this, you guys. But we're going to get her into a cute little outfit um, for the fall. Just something cute on her, something different. And I just, I don't even want to change her. But anyways, let's get on and do our um, devotional first. Well, beautiful angel. That's what I call her as her nickname, Angel. It's Angelica. While she lays there and sleeps so angelically sleeping, we're going to read our um, wisdom for the day, our devotional by Billy Graham. And today we are on October 29th, coming to the end, you guys. It is Sunday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. This one is called The Seeds of Doubt. Satan said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? And that's Genesis 3.1. goes on to say, The devil is a master of making us question God and his word. God commands, God commanded to Adam and Eve, or sorry, God's command to Adam and Eve had been crystal clear. They could eat of every tree in the garden except one. If they ate of it, death would come upon them. But now Satan rises the question, Did God really say? Question mark. It is the first question in the Bible, and it is significant that it comes from the mouth of the one who primarily, primarily goal is to turn us away from God. Satan, you leave right now in the name of Jesus. But notice Satan misquoted God. This wasn't what God had told them, as Eve points out in her reply, Twister scripture, twisting scripture, taking a verse out of the out of text, deceiving us into thinking God is mean is a mean-spirited, these are some of Satan's favorite tricks. Eve's mistake was in prolonging the conversation and eventually being deceived by the deceiver, his promise that he that she would become like God if she ate from the forbidden tree was a lie. Don't let Satan sow the seeds of doubt in your soul, but always stand firmly on the truth of God's word. God's word, you guys, stand on his truth. That is true. Satan just comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and to lie and deceive us. That's what he's here for. So, yeah, um, you know, that wasn't the way it was. Just like people can misquote things out of the Bible. That's why if you go to a church, go to a church that reads from the Word. You got to read from God's Word. Don't misquote things. Don't take it out of contents. You know, you can have your, uh, like when I read these and I have my analogy on it, that's fine. But I read the actual words to you because that's what you want. You want to know God's Word is the truth. It is the truth. And this was great, you guys, great. How very beginning, Satan tried to cause problems for us humans and cause sin immediately to hit our world, immediately. And that's what we are. We are, uh, you know, that's human nature in us to sin as we are humans and we live in glass houses. Every one of us live in those, so we shouldn't be throwing stones. But uh, the devil, yeah, he comes to try to question, you know, try to steer us in the way of God didn't say it like that. He didn't do it like that. What God says is the truth. Listen to what God says, because his word is the truth. Don't listen to the devil. The wisdom, Satan's ta tactic with Eve was to question her uh, certainty regarding God's word. And he uses the same trick today. We can't be satisfied with Christian glitches or secondhand knowledge of scripture. Give us a hunger, Lord, to know truth for ourselves. 
And amen to that. Again, the truth is right here. We need to start our day, go through our day, and end our day with life's manual. Reading, studying, honor, obeying, and living by his word. Don't listen to Satan and telling us those, dece you know, deceiving all what God says, changing everything that God says. God is the truth. Satan is lies. He's full of lies, full of lies. Let's believe God and let's thank him daily just for waking us. Pick up his beautiful word and read it. Read it, you guys, because you're going to feel so much better. And you're not going to, you know, like it says here, the seeds of doubt. You won't have doubt when you are walking with God. You're not going to have any doubt. Satan can say whatever he wants in my ear, but I'm not going to listen to him. Have I listened? Have I done things wrong? Absolutely. I'm human. But I know it ain't from God. When it's bad, it ain't from God. I, we all know that. The only person we should ever fear is God, not Satan. He's a peon. Tell him where to go. Just don't listen to what he has to say. Don't let him deceive the words of God. The words of God are the truth. And take that to heart and listen to God and honor God. That's the only person we have to honor and obey, you guys. Honor and obey. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, reading was great for me. I love to read uh, to help myself with the devotional, and I hope it touches a heart out there. If you got your salvation today, ask him into your heart. Ask the Holy Spirit into your heart. Ask for forgiveness. Get your salvation if you did. It's October, what did I say, the 28th, I believe I said? 20, oh, 29th. 29th today, uh, write it down that you are heaven bound and know that the devil is going to come to still kill and destroy, but keep knocking him back, telling him where to go. God is the one that's the truth, the way. Jesus is our way, the truth, and the life. Satan is just death. We don't want death. We want eternal life, right? So focus on God. All right, you guys, let's get on to beautiful Angelica. I just love her. I love her veining. I love her beautiful peachy, you know, her peaches and cream skin tone. She's gorgeous. Look at that face. She is the Lewis. She is a real, the real born asleep, real born Lewis asleep by Bountiful Babies. She's based off a real baby, which was a baby boy, but I seen her as a girl. She had her on her channel, Amanda did as a girl, and I love her as a girl. I really do. She makes a perfect little angel. She would have been a perfect angel boy too, but I love her as my little Angelica. So gorgeous. So we're going to take her little bear. She's sleeping so good. I'm going to show you what we're putting her in. Look at this cute Disney outfit. Is this by Disney? Yeah. I knew it was going to be baby Disney. Look at this, you guys. Isn't this cute? I have the same one on Octavia, but hers is pink and the grays. We're going to do this on her. It is a cute little top with Mickey Mo or Minnie Mouse on it. I'm sorry, Minnie Mouse. Uh, so the top is red and Minnie Mouse has got a big uh, checkered type uh, bow on to match the little uh, skirt part. It's like a little overall skirt uh, that goes on her. And, so, and the bow is kind of rubbery like. It's lifted and it says Minnie. And then the little dress here is um, a skirt, a little skirt, and it's got that uh, fur at the bottom, so it's very warm looking. It's got the red bows, and it is checkered print, like a, a, um, a what do you call that, uh, not fleece, what's, well, um, gosh, my mind is drawing a blank. I'll throw it up there on the screen, plaid. It's like a plaid um, outfit is what it is, and it's got the straps to it going all the way up. It crisscrosses in the back. It's got the ruffle. It's red, gray, and black, and white, perfect colors. Um, for the fall, we got the long socks. They're white with the little ballerina slipper look at the bottom. So it looks like she'll have shoes on. And we're going to do a black headband on her. I don't even want to take off that hat either. It would have matched with this. But we're going to do the black headband because she is a baldy right now. And we're going to give her this as just a prop. I didn't put a um, a magnet in her yet, but we're going to do this as a prop. You see it has the end. We're just going to do it as a prop because it's mini. So, yeah, let's turn this beautiful girl. But first, we're going to undo her little wings Take her wings off. Yeah, we got to take the wings off, baby girl. Yeah, your wings got to be removed. It doesn't matter. You'll always still be an angel. Look at these wings, you guys. Aren't they pretty? They go with this outfit here, the wings, and they just go around each little arm like that. I loved her in this. Oh, my goodness, I did. Oh, oh, I knew the light was going to go off. I will get it back on in one second. Let me just get her hat off here. And we have to do this quickly now because it's going to keep going off on me. I've done four videos today and that's why it's a um a uh um cordless so it doesn't you know it just runs off after you charge it you just charge it so we're going to turn her and turn her this way and make sure she's in frame and then we'll get the light back on let's turn it back on it will stay on for just a little bit and it'll keep popping off so i'll do this as fast as i can yeah let's do this as fast as we can little girl yeah let's get this beautiful skirt off of you 
I love her mobility, you guys. Her head goes way back. Hopefully you can see that. Look at that face. OMG, right? Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. I mean, she is good. Oh, and she's so pretty. Oh, I just love her. Yes, she's such an angel. An angel bear. Yes, she's an angel. So we'll put her like this. She does have a onesie on. We're going to keep the onesie on her. Pop these socks off because we're going to put those other ones on her. The long ones. Put her stuff over here. And we got to work fast, little Angelica. Yeah, we got to work fast because that light's going to keep them off. Oh, I'm sorry. They're tights, you guys. They're tights. <laughs> I thought they were the long socks. They're actually tights, which are even better. Yeah, even better to keep you warmer. Keep your pretty little legs warm, even though I don't want to cover you up because your art is so beautiful. You are definitely a work of art. Uh, you know, I am a uh, doll enthusiastic. I am a doll lover, um, a uh, adult doll collector. And these are not, um, you know, toys. These are not, these babies are not for young little kids. They aren't. They are definitely for adults and should be treated as such because they are works of art. They really are. They're works of art. And they're supposed to represent like a real baby. You know, and so they should be treated as such. And I treat all my babies as if they are real because to me they are. I put like a little soul in them. And I don't mean weird, you guys, soul, like, you know, things get possessed. I don't mean that. I just mean I know it's fake. I know it's a doll. And that's going to keep going on. I know she is a doll. I know my babies are just dolls. But I love them and I, I give them like a little soul. They're just fun to hold and hug and coddle. And they help with anxiety, depression, um, you name it, it helps, you know, and, and just, especially if you can't have children, I wanted more children. I did have a son. I'm grateful I did years and years ago, but I did want another son. Um, I mean, another child, I went to mind the son, but I wanted a little girl, um, with my husband and, um, you know, all those years we tried and it didn't work out and God had a different plan. So, um, I did recently this year in May had to have a hysterectomy, but I'm grateful to God that he caught the cancer early. It was only a stage one and he caught it and got rid of it and it's gone. I don't have to do any, um, chemo or anything like that, but I am, you know, am not able to have any more kids. So these babies even are more special to me now. And like, I, when I say a little soul, I just mean like each one is special and unique in its own way. And to me, it's, you know, definitely great therapy. As even my doctor told me that, she asked if I'd bring one in one day to show her. I told her I was doing it as a job, um, the silicone babies. And she just said that they're all really great therapy. She agreed with me that they are. And she asked, she goes, I've never seen one in person though. Would you bring it in? Because it would help me to help these moms out there that, you know, can't have children such as yourself that would, you know, like to know that there is an app, you know, something out there that can be like a real baby to a person, especially somebody that can't have any children you know, or never did have children or want, like me, had one, wanted more and can't have any. Well, that's what these are for then. Oh my gosh. Even though she's a little angel, she looks still like a little angel in that outfit. <laughs> Adorable Angelica. Let's get your little headband on. I know you're going to look cute in a headband. Oh my goodness. And I wanted the black just to go with the bottoms. I just, I just knew this was going to be cute on her. Oh my goodness. Angelica, there is nothing that you won't look good in. I can tell you that. Look at her, you guys. Stunning. Oh, she's stunning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. I love this girl. She's so beautiful. Let's give her her angel bear, her lovey. And let's just put, we'll just set this little thing on her, the little nookie. We'll just set it right there with her as she just looks at you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed seeing Angel. Um, I want to keep saying Angelique. Angelica, I hope you enjoyed seeing her again. She is very angelic and very beautiful. I love her so much. For share a daughter, I wanted to share her. And now she's going to blow you guys a kiss. Mwah. She loves her mommy, her daddy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, God, all of her cousins, aunties, uncles, grandmas, and grandpas. And um, I love you guys as well. Mwah. But remember, God loves you the most. Let's honor his word. We need to honor his word because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And his word is the truth. A quick little spotlight on little Angelica. She is precious and sweet like an angel. She sleeps good. She cuddles good. She loves good. She's gentle. And for a girl, I'm surprised. But she's a true angel. So I just wanted to quickly get there. And I forgot I was doing a spotlight on her. She is perfect. So far, so good since I got her. I love her. She is just 
eats good, sleeps good, and just is a true angel, a true, true angel. But all babies are, right? All babies are angels. All right, you guys, everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. <music>